Federal Weather Authority. Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. You know, we usually start out with, uh, well, when we use an airport camera, planes and wind socks and terminal buildings, but this house across the street, across West 12th on our Myers Mentor RV camera, good to see the Forsythia. I'm not sure if these are cherry blossoms, but there's some nice foliage going on there on West 12th, and, and there's still some nice sunshine. You can really uh, see the split here in the weather. The further south you go, the more clouds and your better chance of showers. The further north you go, more breaks in the clouds as you look at St. Peter Cathedral and West 10th Street on our U.S. netting camp. So radar, a whole lot of nothing going on. We go west, that's the next batch starting to lift across Illinois, Indiana, into Ohio. And then we go south and we got another couple batches here, Atlanta and Dallas. It's all part of a larger system that's coming up. Now, as we said last half hour, not a whole lot of wind going on, but I do want to alert you to the fact that tomorrow and Friday, and maybe even into Saturday, it's going to get windy here. Now, the winds are going to come out of the southeast, so that's going to warm things up, but we can get gusts 40, 45 miles per hour either day. Uh, on the precipitation side, as far as thunderstorms are concerned, uh, we're in another level one, level two risk. We've been there twice before in the last week or two. Really nothing has been happening. And this one is all predicated on do we get some sun tomorrow. We know we're going to get a slug of rain tonight. There may be some thunder overnight, but it's not going to be severe. If we continue to get clouds and showers into the midday or daytime heating time and not a lot of sunshine, then it's hard to cook the atmosphere and produce big storms. But there is a threat of some thunderstorms tomorrow evening, whether or not they become severe, time will just tell. What does happen is a lot of wind and then it gets cooler on Friday. 62 for our high today, 50 for our low, again, some 8 to 14 degrees above normal, a trace of precip, 13 hours, 10 minutes of daylight, showers return late tonight and tomorrow, maybe that storm uh, or those storms late tomorrow or tomorrow evening, and then your wet and cooler Friday. Uh, but mild temperatures here, 62 Union City, 60 in Greenfield, 57 in Lake City, down south, again, you're looking at pretty decent uh, temperatures and out to the east as well, uh, temperatures in the 60s and upper 50s. So that warm air comes up, brings rain tonight, and it brings perhaps some storms later tomorrow afternoon. But once this goes by, Friday's windy, chillier, and wet, and hopefully we get a break at least on Saturday before the next system. But for tonight, showers return to the lakeshore later on towards midnight. Chance of an overnight storm, 50 to 54. If you're south of 90 inland, Cambridge and Oil City and Union City, a chance of an evening shower. Don't expect much rain there, but towards midnight, some more is possible. Very mild, 53 to 57 inland, 52 to 56 Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McKean counties, and most of the rain after midnight. So we start with rain. We have wind, uh, maybe a break of some sunshine in the afternoon, and then the chance of those storms tomorrow evening. Friday's windy, cooler, and 50 with showers. Saturday's showers go away. Sunday, they come back. Monday, they go away. Late Tuesday into Wednesday, they come back, but temperatures go back up uh, Sunday through Wednesday, well into the 60s. Check out our forecasts, our radar, and much more on the Your Erie To Go app.